Okay, so here we are in a draft. Um, in the interest of having fun and being awesome, uh, we're going to force Boros. And if you don't remember, Boros is white red. I recently kind of just drafted it and got to the finals with it. It was really awesome. Ooh, what a Boros card. Uh, no thanks, though. I still don't like this in limited. Uh, there's a Rakdos Cackler, but I mean, Lava Crew is definitely the card. It does so much damage. It pushes in that last four to five damage that you could not get through. Now, interesting enough, uh, you don't really get a whole lot of multicolor spells in Boros because there's no white, red cards. So, uh, I mean, there's the Rakdos Cackler and there's things like the Weird, but that's about it. So, I mean, I may even first pick Flower Crew out of this pack anyway. Mm, yeah, probably. <laughs> so, there's another Lava Crew, which I'm probably going to take and hopefully table the Pursuit of Flight. This card is very essential to the plan. And maybe table the Goblin Rally. I've definitely taken Lava Crew here. Uh, yeah. Boom. Ooh, Annihilate Fire. Looking good. Looking good for my Boros deck, and continue passing the Selesnya. Tenement Crasher, huh? Hmm. There is a Sun Spry uh, Spire Griffin, though, so I'm probably going to be taking that. I can get more Tenement Crashers later. Don't want to have too many 6-drops. So, yep, I'm going to take the Sun Spire Griffin. It's pretty sick. Another Annihilate Fire, holy crap. There is a Splatter Thug here, which I do want, but I mean, I gotta take the removal over it. So far, looking sweet. Uh, you know, five three drops, but they're all pretty good. I think, you know, play this on turn four, play this on turn three. Alright, ooh, Volition Ring is pretty good. Boros. Hmm. Want the rig? Eh, I think I just want a more versatile and better card as like the Griffin here. I mean, just getting him for two is really important. I mean, the rig is cool and all, but I want a more stable card, I think. <laughs> Another three drop, though, right? Ugh. Ooh, this is interesting. There's Traitor's Instinct. Foil Pithing, you know, that's pretty neat. And there's Seller of Songbirds. Batterhorn. It's gotta be Traitor's Instinct here, right? I mean, I'm aggressive, so gotta win. Here, I don't like any of the cards. So I'll just take the Rekt here. And hide it most likely, but Oh, man, really need more two drops and one drops. I hope that cackler comes back, but I think that was the original pack. So, yeah, well, but you know, one and two drops are number one priority right now, and a few four drops even. So things like a weird. Or a Pegasus. Yeah, I like Pegasus better than this. This is the original pack. So the Cackler did not come back, but the Pegasus did. Interesting. So another Pegasus or two would be nice. Um, why can't there be like a 2-1 bird in this format? That's two mana, you know? There is. There's Tower Drake, but I can get bigger. Where's the, where's the White Welkin turn? <laughs> Sick Goblin Rally. <laughs> Look how late this Skyline Predator is. But definitely Goblin Rally here. Uh, I don't really care about any of this, so. Should cut this because I have flyers. There's a Tenement Crasher that came back. Looking good. Uh, actually, I played Survey of the Wreckage. Actually, won me two games. 
Yes, Bellow Slither, get in my deck. This card is sick. <laughs> Not really, but when you're scrounging around for playables because you're Boros, <laughs> very likely that um, that's going to happen. All right, so there's a there's a chemistry here, which is pretty much what we want. Um, there's a Lava Crew and a Gore House Chainwalker. Now we can splash the chemistry. That's acceptable, you know. And just like get some guild gates. I mean, he's worth it. I think he's good enough. So, or we just take Labor Crew, or the, or the weird. Weird might not be a bad choice here. I would not. I would not be upset at you if you took weird. Hmm. It's a guild mage that we don't care about. Do I want the canister? I I don't think so. I'm all in Boros right now, I think. I want the weird. It helps my two lobber crews. I really need more low drops, I think. And I want to be super aggressive. Uh, maybe I just take another lobber crew then. No, I think I need another two drop. So weird over the gore house chain walker, I think. Electricry or Shred Freak. Probably going with a Shred Freak here. Uh, it's a two drop. That's about all you can say about it. Hmm. There's an Is It Charm, but that's blue. We don't want to do that. So yeah, Shred Freak it is. And we're almost mono red. <laughs> so. It's gonna be weird with to have these griffins, but you know they're they're fine on turn four. Uh, anything else? Nope. Shred freak. All right, nightly valor. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. Doing that on something like a griffin or a weird, uh, pretty good. It's good late game guard. I've seen the stab wound, but I'm Boros. Ooh, and completely miss. I guess there's a train caracol, but I'm probably not going to play that. Hmm, I'm just going to cut a card that I don't want to play against. It's Thought Flare. I'll win the game, right? It's pretty sick. Ooh, Pursuit of Flight. Yes. Definitely want the Pursuit of Flight here, I think. Or no, maybe I want the... Probably want the Pegasus. It's not a two drop. I'm really low on twos. Yeah. Definitely want one or at least one pursuit of flight though, but I really do need two drops. Uh definitely don't want another three. So yeah. Take the Pegasus here. Ooh, a swift justice. That's definitely good. Uh yeah, definitely don't want over a three. Uh, Batterhorn? Sure, I guess I'll take Batterhorn for that. 4-4 um, four, four artifact I saw earlier. Explosive impact. Oh, so good. I want this Dino Charge. Dang it. Alright, oh well. Yeah, so the record get in my deck. Um, not playing this in charm probably, but I'm gonna cut it because that sends a signal a visit, and we need it as a card. It's like the weird. I don't want to send that signal too badly. Cut the rune wing here for the same reasons. I could cut the vassal soul, but I really don't want another three drop. But oh well, I'll just take it. I might be short on playables. Take the foil here. Take a rare. And take a card that I don't care about. So we got one more pack. Hopefully we open like, ooh, I don't know, Lava Crew, another weird like. Um, Death's presence is not what I was thinking, but weird. Weird's good. I like the weird. Uh, Tristan's judgment is close second, but two, uh, the two drop is very important. I really want the, the five four. There's an explosive impact here. Probably going to be taking that. 
There is an arrestor that could be picked though. No, it's just a removal. But I really want the 5-4 uh, giant that you can unleash. That's really important to get for this, but what can you do? You can't have it all, right? Alright, so pretty sure it's Gorehouse Chainwalker here. I mean, he's pretty good. 3 power over 2 power. I mean, maybe this gets in more damage because of my 1 drop, but eh, whatever. I'll just take it. I'm in a more mono red anyway. Uh, ooh, Civic Saber, huh? That just may be what I want in this kind of deck, so probably gonna take it. Especially on a weird, that seems really good. Yeah. Mm. Definitely over the Army Guard. I don't want too many six drops, as I've said. So right now, I need to cut a couple cards, and it's pretty easy. I'm sure you can guess what they will be. Uh, there's an Avenging Arrow or a Sun Spire Griffin. I, like I've been saying, this card is fine on turn four. So we'll continue to take it. <laughs> How about one more? One more it is. <laughs> the same exact pack, basically. There is a Bellows Lizard, but, you know, Griffin's still better. Uh, geez, Shred Freak probably here. Still don't want another Dynamic Crusher. Like I said, too many six drops, bad. Definitely don't want a seven drop. And this can be a four two. Now with this, it helps Labor Crew. Uh, Bellows Lizard, get in my deck. <laughs> this deck is awesome. Can't you tea? <laughs> so, need to cut some cards. Uh, hide these. Hide the Vassal Soul. Probably hide this. Um. Twenty-six, twenty-five. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing here for us, so I'll just take the the flyer. Mind rot. Sideboard card. Probably cut one of these. Maybe both. This guy's actually very okay. He usually trades with something, like a 3-3. So, he's fine. Um, maybe a Tenement Crasher. No, that guy smashes in really good. So, he was just one of these Griffins. And one of these. Alright. Another Tenement Crasher. I want it. Uh, that. <laughs> okay. This should be interesting, right? <laughs> so basically I'm playing white for, I'm basically mono red for this, and then these. So, could it easily have six sick Boro stack, but, like I said, we were playing, are planning on playing, uh, Boros from the beginning. No, I'm playing on Griffins. What am I saying? Um, it's 24 still. I don't need to cut a card. So it's got to be Lizard mm, or one of the Griffins. I mean, it's really awkward to go double red and then double white. So hopefully I can play Lava Crew turn two, or three. <laughs> yeah, turn three, I'm not going to be doing anything except maybe playing uh, Shred Freak. Maybe Civic Saber, I don't know. But don't like the curve at all. <laughs> so maybe I should switch one of these out. And then... No, I really don't like that. <laughs> Nightly Valor 1, he seems so good. 
What do I not like? Maybe just one of these stretch fakes. No. With this, it seems really good. Making them a 4 2. Super awesome on turn 3. You know, play this turn 2, get in for 2. They play a dork, and then you get in for more that they don't want to block with. Because I have that, maybe I should play the Vassal Soul over one of the Griffins. That just seems wrong. I need another double white spell. It's effectively the same as the 2 3, though. Okay. We'll just trade one of those out because of the Saber, and it helps the Lava Crew. I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking it's the Griffin, but. This is a, my worst card right here. Yeah. He doesn't do a whole lot. If I had um, Dino Charge, I'd definitely be playing him, but I don't. So I can't play him. But I take Dino Charge over. Or what card did I take Dino Charge over? I think it was an explosive impact. Maybe it was a weird. No. I don't remember. There's Nightly Valor. I don't remember at all. But I think it was good. <laughs> so, this is an awesome Boros deck. Hopefully, it gets there. Oh, need to add Land, right? No, won't be adding any of those. I won't be adding any of those. Yeah, I think I need 10 7 here. Maybe even 9 8. Because of the double white. And I'm going to be playing this on turn 4. Pretty much every time. So hopefully Lava Curran playing this. And then Nightly Valerian or something. Or maybe playing this and equipping. I don't know. But whatever it is. It's going to be awesome. But definitely need mountains. Alright, this is the deck. And losing the die roll is so bad in this. Uh, this hand is not good at all. I mean, it has lands, but it doesn't have any two drops. It doesn't have any three drops. I mean, it has a lobber crew, but that's it. I need a more aggressive hand, I think. That's mole. You really have to. Oh my gosh. Triple white. Okay, mole. <laughs> Guess we'll keep. I think you really do need to mulligan aggressively here. Uh, still gonna play a mountain here, even though I drew this. I don't have the double planes in the. I can play this next turn if I do not draw a uh, white source. Okay, just drew a mountain. So I'll play planes and hopefully draw a planes. If not, though, I'll play a lava crew and be fine. Sure. Planes it is. Definitely right to play this, I think. He'll swing in for two, I'll attack for two. Sort of thing. He'll feel as though he's the beat down, and he's probably right. Really? No. I don't want to trade for that. Hmm. I don't really want to take two, so. Yep. This is unfortunate. We didn't have a great hand, so what can you do? We just passed here. That's interesting. Your turn. Don't understand how passing does anything. So 
just gonna play a huge six drop. I'm gonna. Hmm. I guess not. Well, I'm gonna trade for his Drake here. Well, maybe I'll trade for his Rune Wing. And then kill his Drake. No, I'm not gonna trade at all. Anything good? I can get him for four, but he didn't get tax back for four. That's three cards. Man. If I don't kill this now, I don't think I ever will kill it, but... I mean, I can always explosive impact next turn, right? Get some for four. If he has something ridiculous, I'd really like to know. Okay, so 15, effectively 10, 9, and then you push 9 damage. Here's 4 of it, so I need to find 5 more. Four more. There's four more. Because he'll push four. He might even not attack with this. He's getting this back, okay. Interesting. I lean fire. Hmm. One, two, three. that works. Is there any double white spell I care about to represent? Huh. Okay. You got it, chief. I'm not going to just tack into that. Man, if only I had attacked into that. Might have been better, but I wanted to push more damage. If he leaves up one white, I can definitely attack into it. Alright, sky watch. Sure thing. All the flyers. Griffin. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I annihilate and fire this. If I just play Griffin. I'll probably just play Griffin here. Because then that completely stops his attack, right? Can't attack with this. He can maybe attack with this by just blocking that. If he attacks with this, I'll double block. Okay. And so now by playing Griffin, though, he realizes I'm Boros. He's got two cards. So even if he detains something, I at least trade with a Rune Wing. Take five, go into five. What's my best draw here? Knightly Valor, probably. Waiting on this, probably. Heck, maybe even this. Nope. Probably this. But then you can double block. Maybe this. Comes to four, five. You can still double block. This is an explosive impact, this. But looks like it was correct to attack into it, because I guess I would trade either one of these for his Tower Drake, and then he taps to Reborn Defenses, and then I Explosive Impact. I push in two damage. Just that, huh? Yeah. 
Can't play around it. He has a trick, he has a trick. Let's just get rid of this, maybe? Okay, I'm okay with that, I think. We have Paralyzing Grasp, I see. I'm not going to tap it in response. Um, I guess it's his turn, or my turn. Mountain is no good. There's no point in explosive impacting this. And no point in attacking. So play a mountain pass. Alright, so Sundering Growth can come in. Hmm. Probably gonna Explosive impact that now. Just because I need to. That's a weird attack for two. You're going to take it like a boss. Now I'm going to do one to you and play a weird. So I need to find a way to push 10 damage. Jeez. Swing to this, you know, snap block. And then um, swing both of this. Swings both, right? Snap block. I don't understand that attack though. Because I'm pushing four, five, six here. He has his Hussar Patrol, but even if that happens, he gets my Shred Freak, who cares? He goes to four. So if I have an Eileen Fire here, I win. Yeah, I don't understand that attack at all. Or, um, yeah, an island fire. I get four. Okay. So it has to have something here. Ah, okay. Top deck. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I admit. Back with you. Off with your bird. Hmm. Takes this, get played. Now he doesn't attack with this. Because uh, he has to attack with both to push damage. lands. I can attack with both. Hmm. Can I attack all? Blocks here. Has to block here. Pushes one. No, it doesn't have to block here. You can jump here. Or let's see. I suppose he'll block here though. 
I really don't want to attack here though. I mean, I can take three, go to one, but then he swings back and kills me. So I think the play is just to block or attack here. If I attack both, he trades a bird. Hmm. Attack here. He blocks. Attack here and here. He blocks here. No, he can't do that. Well, he can't block here and chomp. I guess that's fine. So I should swing all. But then if he plays any creature, he goes to three. But then this kills him. So yeah, I should swing all here. Because this is lethal, so he has to block it. Yep, I assume that much. Goes to three. And look, with still a lethal card, this is going to be lethal. I mean, he has nothing. He hasn't played a spell. So, let's see what he draws. That's pretty good. Oh, jeez. Up deck. Not land. Not land. That's pretty good. Um. Hmm. So he has to block, so I guess I'll put him at two. I want to give him the extra card. <laughs> if he blocks with that, okay. Hmm. I want to let a draw a card. I don't think it matters. Because I'm going to have four of these, and he's going to be at two. I have to push in one. Goblin Rally. Let's push one damage. What you got? You better draw two. <laughs> yep. Where's that sleep? Boom. <laughs> Get there, Galvin Rally. Good game, good luck, and the next one. I guess the next game. Uh, he has so many flyers. I think I want another Griffin. Um, Shrek Break. <gasps> Didn't do anything. Not really. It can be blocked by basically anything. All the ruins and everything. So switch out one of these and switch out planes. I'm gonna need more of these. Uh, Sundering Growth for his Paralyzing Grasp. Taking out. Shark Freak again. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like this at all in that matchup. Survey the Wreckage. He is splashing. Yeah, I like that. What do I not like? I do not like Vassal Soul, maybe? No, Vassal is fine. I don't like Curse Instinct, since I'm not that aggressive anymore. Okay. And... 
Yeah, what am I going to steal? A rune wing? I'm on the draw too, that's another consideration. Do you have any artifacts? No, I don't think you did. And then, do I want the other server of the wreckage or the other ten of the crasher? I really do want to draw the survey of the wreckage. I just don't see anything to take out for it. Maybe it is this vassal soul. I mean, it is cute with the civic saber, but no. <laughs> this may look odd, but I really don't want him drawing that or being able to play that one card. So, plus if he keeps a really bad hand, and I just start, you know, getting his lands, then I just win, which happened before. Uh, this hand is very good. <laughs> no, I would not like them all. I like weirds. Weirds are good. I think I'm going to start out with a mountain. Hopefully, I can draw a plains uh, before turn three. Plains? Pegasus. I want to play weird. And what I can do next turn is I can play Pegasus and weird and get him for two. Alright, plains. Or I can just play weird, but that doesn't use off my mana. I would really like to use on my mana. We have. No, oh, there's your artifact. Courthouse Chainwalker. Okay, I'm looking like I'm playing that instead. It will be unleashed. Really do need to draw a uh, planes. Ooh. Really need to draw planes. So I attack with this, doesn't do anything, attack with this, and this doesn't do anything. So play weird. <laughs> so now I'm the one with land troubles. Bring in that batter horn. So I attack with both, and whichever one he doesn't block, I pump. But right now, it looks like I'd be getting his. I don't know. Yes, blue. Or nope, white. Definitely white. You can pump it twice. Seller of Sunwards, okay. Yeah, going in for the long game here. Can I attack? Let's see. Attack both, he blocks one. And then... I might be able to attack here. I doubt he'll trade that. Two, three, four, no, three, four. So I can trade my weird for maybe a bird. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So, play Griffin. And then I can start swinging. I'd like to get his white source though. So that means it can only be a 2 2. Alright, sure thing, you got an R Griffin. And this is why I wish I had a, a land. Ooh, I'm getting in there, getting aggressive.
So now I can survey the wreckage. To ensure that he doesn't get in our six trap. I'd rather attack and then play the Griffin. He blocks one and get into Is he considering two, three, four? Taking it all. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Take four. Next turn, survey the wreckage. This guy's doing nothing. <laughs> His uh, armory guard. X. I like that. Mm, no reason to attack, I don't think. Um, well, let's survey the wreckage here. And then pass. Well, take a moment to consider here. Attack with both weirds. What does he do? Maybe explosive impact the army guard here. <laughs> what does that do? He may even triple up on my rune or my weird in with rune wing two birds or rune wing cellar bird. Or just a Tardric, tap into blank. Oh man, I don't know. Explosive impacting. Five six. I mean, I could kill this two five and start getting in with my Gore House Chainwalker. That doesn't even seem very good. So I'm just gonna bloop. Probably should have left up the white or the, the red so I can, you know, do three damage, but four, five, six, yep. What did he just do? Oh, okay. Sure, you got it. Now you can't activate your key rune now, can you? Oh, well, now you can. I guess I wish I got the blue. Doorkeeper. Interesting. Oh, no, I can't stay here forever. There is a lava crew here. So which will happen first? Me getting doorkeeped? Or him getting killed by a lava crew? I don't know. He kills Drake. Do this for now. Not too worried about the doorkeeper right at this moment. Don't worry, I have plans for that. Draw. It. Uh, let's see. So swing with this and this. Uh, maybe 
I don't know what he does. I don't know why he's not attacking though. So I'm going to start swinging. I can't just sit here forever. Back the goblin. And let's see what he does. That looks less of impact. One there. Tower right Drake there. Taking six. Room there. Bird there. Ew, I don't like that. Ew, these birds are doing damage, aren't they? Yeah, I don't like this at all. So I can kill his tower drake. I lose a bird. Or uh this. Mm, this is more important, I think. Then I also lose my ability to use this. And then I guess that goes first. Killing a bird. And this kills. Rune? Yeah, I really don't like that at all. Using explosive impact on a bird seems really awful too. Oh man, I really need this to die, but then this can just block it forever so it doesn't matter. Okay. This needs to die at end of turn, I think. Runwing can die. That's two power. And this gets bumped for four. It goes to ten. Make things indestructible, that's really bad. But I just need to push five damage, four damage. Yeah, doorkeeper me. Sure. Oh man, that was a good one. That was a really good one. No reason still to attack with that, because you're not the worst get the blocks there. I will attack with this. Then use this box here. Maybe I kill this and attack with these. Attacking with the bird. Getting in there. I'm okay with that. So I need to push a little bit of damage. Knightly Valor. Okay. I definitely like that a lot. But what on? Goblin doesn't do it. Weird probably does it. Um, probably the weird. Yep. Well, maybe even this. So I can start attacking. Because this isn't attacking yet. It becomes a 5 4. So it can be blocked by maybe this and this. Yeah, this hasn't been attacking at all. So that makes this all of a sudden useful. Alright. My weirds are already good. Really? Cancel? That's your one card? Well then. Came up with my weirds. Type of this and this. What does that do? Attack with this, he just blocks here. Or maybe he blocks here. Yeah. Let's get in for two. 
for three. It's hard right there, huh? You want to trade it. Interesting. So we can trade Tardrix. Hmm. How do I feel about that? I feel fine because then I can attack with this. And he can block block, but he's probably not attacking with that. So and then I attack with this, this, and he blocks here, it takes four. Okay, try that out. Hopefully I can throw my Sundering Growth. That would be best. Let's do Paralyzing Grasp. Oh, getting aggressive. Attack, attack. Land. Yep, knew it. So I attack with this, he blocks. Here. <laughs> Here. So, attack, attack. You can at worst block here. But pushing four is really important. So, I'm trying to bait that. But maybe just jumps. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Why jump? Jumping's bad. Man, it should have. Should have got him around with that too, so puts that there too. Come on, don't jump. Come on, don't jump. Ah! She attacked. On the doorkeeper goes on it. Alright, it's looking like that needs to die at end of turn. So I can really start pushing four. Yep, doorkeeper me. Okay, don't doorkeeper me. I'm still on the beatdown plan here. Let's take three. Whoa, that was a quick dispel. Okay, draw the other one? Nope. Still not out of it. Oh, I could have attacked. No, I couldn't have. Got my other explosive impact. Awesome! Sundering growth. Doesn't do anything, not enough, not quick enough. I mean, it does two. This army guard is doing so much work, it's ridiculous. And flames, all right, I've had enough. Pegasus, meh. All right, so Survey of the Wreckages are definitely coming out for on the play. Trace Instinct coming in, Batter Horton coming in. And he's still pretty bad against his 2 5. Anything else? Nope. Maybe a Tenement Crusher. You know, it seems really good against him. Can't exactly block it. Sundering Growth. Yeah, 
like it, but what do I take out? I have a saber. I haven't done anything for me yet. But I like it. I like saber. Man, what do I take out? Probably this. Yes, I'd like to play first. Uh, I think I keep this. Still play uh, mountain first. You know, I don't think this matters. Get in there with a the gore house chain walker. Hopefully I can draw land. Pretty important. Sick. Yes, he gets unleashed. He has no ground guys except the 2-5. Yeah, go turn 2-5. You know, shard freaks in my deck, so get in there. Hopefully it doesn't have syncopate. <laughs> go ahead, Paralyzing Grasp. I got another one. Do it. I don't even care. Sure. Just play another Lava Crew. Could use some lands. Oh, getting in there. If I draw a land, that's really good. Oh, that's unfortunate. Land? Sick. You go to 14. I play a Pegasus. And a weird. And then, Nightly Valor up this Pegasus, right? If I draw land, of course. There's no way you're attacking. Okay, well, he's clearly got a trick, but who cares? Interesting. So now they're valor up with this if I draw land. Alright, let's see your cancel. Sure thing, bud. Probably should play the Goblin Alley then, if I knew you had the cancel. Well. Here's a doing work. So you could have, I don't know, just eyes judgment here. And now he's on five turns. He wants to draw weird. Um, don't think I'm attacking here. The other cancel. Boom. Alright. Two mana. Draw card. Sure. <laughs> Not looking good for you, because right now you're blocked here. Take three, four, five, six, seven. And you're effectively at six. Unless you have a sleep. That's, that's a good start. That's a good start. Come on, spell. Animal Crasher? Six Saber. Okay. Uh, what do I put on this? No, probably the weird. No, probably just a goblin. So I can't be blocked by this. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Getting in there. Eight, seven, six, five. Does he have an answer to this? Okay, just jumping. Uh, you definitely need to jump there. I have no cards in hand. Why wouldn't I bump? We're at three. This does not make sense to me. No, it's probably right to go there, but whatever. So, pretty much dead on board unless he gains life. <laughs> right? Come on. Is are doing four. I mean, even if he kills one, yeah, I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> it's a game. I would say you too, but then it's awkward. Draw a Griffin. Draw explosive impact. What an aggressive hand. On the play. Oh man, how exciting. Uh, turn three Griffin. Can't pass that up, right? Or turn two weird if I draw one. So definitely playing the mountain first. Uh, ooh, Lava Crew or Griffin. Definitely Griffin. Yeah, Griffin's going to be getting much more damage. Alright, Griffin. Okay, this guy is going to be crashing in eventually. You are playing against Selesnia. Hmm. Let's tackle two. Probably going to take it here. Lava crew it up. Gotta love that swift justice. Four mana. What do you got? You have an attack for one. Okay. You need eyes in the sky? A three three. Do I care about that? Right now I don't. Maybe at the end of turn though. <laughs> I think it was 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 8, 7, 6, hmm, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, snap block. If he pumps, kaboosh. Hmm, interesting. No attack with the bird, though. Okay. There's really no problem with all of these attacks. I just get him for two. Common bond? Oh, he puts them all right here. Duke. Get blown out. Still take three here, though. But he's taking a lot more. Never saw this coming. 
Hopefully he doesn't have that one card. Fog. You go to eight. Seven. Hmm. So I need to push three damage. What's the best way to do that? I don't think it's by playing Rakdos Shred Freak. If he attacks here, that's so wrong. <sighs> if he plays nothing here, that also seems wrong and suspicious. So I can, oop, I did not allow recruit him. That, so he's at seven, six, five. I don't think it will matter. So let's attack with three. Let's just attack with a griffin, maybe. Now let's attack both. And then just play both of these. There's no reason to play this. Yep. He should be at five. Eh, whatever. Boom. Goes to zero. Right, <laughs> got there. Uh, what do we want? Is Red Freak any good? He's got these birds, so maybe not. See, Shred Freak is never good. Um, on the draw, especially. Don't like it. Um, Sunning Growth, maybe. Part of the Wreckage, no. How about our Griffin, maybe? No. Uh, yeah, I assume he has some sort of dude. Um, yeah, Tenement Crasher. Right? Or just a Racketeer. Yeah, let's just do it this way. Interesting hand, I'll keep. He almost have six past his turn. Luckily I did that little pause for him. Because I want to make sure I wasn't F16 past my turn. I definitely need to play planes here. I'm glad he didn't have call the conclave. Okay, guess he just drew it then. The question is, do I night light and fire it now just to not give him a chance to populate? And that is... That is, um... A good thought, I think. Hmm. Don't know how many populate cards he has. He's still have giant growth here too anyway, so I don't want to get completely blown out. I mean if I annihilate him fire here, he giant grows. That just destroys me. I don't know that he doesn't have it. But he attacks and uh blocking common bonds. That's really bad, but can I even play around that? I can probably take three. Tenement Crusher. Okay. I'm even up his mana. 
Get him for five. <laughs> uh, just go. He's stuck on three, though. Okay, Nero's fourth. Snap blocking now. They could have combined giant growth, but I mean, what can you do? So I did have the giant growth. Okay. Still save tons of damage. And don't tell me that this isn't going to be good. Play Batterhorn. He gets him for five, I get him for nine. <laughs> as long as he doesn't play creature, of course. Which he will. Don't worry, he will. So he did have the Dragon Grove. I played around. Something really awful, hopefully. Three, four, four, three. Oh, okay, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, get in. Block here and take five. It's probably the best play. If he takes nine, he goes to ten. Alright, so right now, what are we looking at? Hopefully, he just plays like a huge creature that can just kill him. Alright, goes seven. Hmm. Pass here means eyes in the sky, right? Or a fog. Some sort of populate spell, probably. So when he goes to populate, explosive impact. If I trigger instinct, that's 10, 11, 12. Thirteen. But if he populates, I lose. So four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So yeah, I think I just swing for five here. And then explosive impact when he goes to populate. Maybe Eisen's guys here. Maybe he just goes to nine. Just Chinese judgment. Perhaps. No. Well, I don't want to bluff or tell him that I have a civic saber by playing him and leaving up six, so, or uh, explosive impact by playing civic saber and not equipping, so it's going to pass. Putting him on Tristan's Judgment Arise in the sky here. Probably not another common bond. Okay. All right. 
Not Combine? No. Engineer. Okay. That I can accept, I think. Uh, that's kind of awkward. So he still has nothing. I have a Griffin. Four or five. Okay. Hopefully, he doesn't have a removal spell for it. Hmm. Flower crew. So I can trigger instinct here, doing three or five. Probably not the worst, but hmm. Manages untap and win. Why not? No, oh, it just seems wrong. I'd rather save the sensing for something really good but I really just want to get to the point where I can explosive impact him for the win <sighs> see what he does here six you Hmm, let's see. He goes to eight. Seven. So he's got three turns. Arrow position did not put him on that. I don't think he's attacking the one. So I have six turns to his three turns. Wily <laughs> Fowler. That's kind of awkward. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I play it, but <laughs> it's kind of weird. Just to have a 2 2. Um, Three two, I should say. So he goes to seven and six. That's fine. Don't you forget spots, kill you. Five planes. You know, I think I'm just gonna pass. I mean, well, if he has pump, I really just like to block. Because if I untap with Lower Crew, I win. So I'm just gonna pass. Oh, don't have Tristani's judgment. Okay, <laughs> right. Attacking that. Whew. Snap block. Just gotta untap. Oh, that's so nervous. Keep strong land, so that's good. Yeah, 
if I hadn't of Taurus Instinct, how that would be affecting the game right now. Basically, what is this? Oh, that I'm perfectly okay with. I mean, he can't kill me three, four, five. Because I just block here. Okay, I had to step two. Kill you. I mean, bar you. Put you at one. Kill you. Good game. <laughs> Love me some lava crew. Boom. Boom. Finals with Boros. What up? What up? What's going on? <laughs> All right. So uh, we agreed to the gentleman split. So, but we're still going to play it because I am recording. <laughs> and there's the proof. Um, uh, this hand is sketchy, but I'm going to keep. I think I can draw a mountain. <laughs> Love this deck. Mountain? Ooh. Didn't draw the mountain. Uh oh. What you got? Oh. Mountain. Yes. Um, yep, get in there, I'll trade, I'll trade, I don't care, don't even care, block, good, when'd you block? No, mm, that's pretty good, our crew, yes. Stuck on white. Or is he mono white? Oh man, really? Um, I'll get you for one. Probably an iron fire here, but I don't know. Maybe not. Ooh, definitely need to block there. Let's see what he plays. Plays nothing. All right, I'm gonna attempt to get on fire. Okay. Five mana. Oh, I didn't lab recruit. Dang it. Oh well, still got on that point. Rawr. And there's his green. Um, yeah, I'll block. Land for sure. <laughs> Rawr. He's not even bothering with the secure. Eh. Oh, okay. So it goes a six. Ooh, that's pretty good. So it's at 10 now. Hmm. So 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. Tack, tack, tack. I'm pushing two. It goes to seven. That gives them three turns, but if I I lean fire this, I push in three. I think it's right to Nylon Fire and attack all. And then I push in two. Goes to seven. Maybe I just don't attack. He blocks, blocks. I push in two. One. Alright. Attack for one. Eight. Interesting. Why doesn't he ever use this? He's just trying to lose. <laughs> Jeez. Um, block. Ooh, can block with my goblins. No, that doesn't seem right. Nope. Nope, not at all. Boom. Definitely attacking with goblins now. Upkeep. Get in, in there! Prevent that one. Take your three. There are five. What is this monstrous? Ooh. Aww. I can still draw an eye lane fire. <laughs> I got two. Eye lane fire? Oh. I can still draw it. 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 <laughs> My Island Fire. Ooh, Traitor's Instinct. Boom. That works. Wow, good thing I drew that. <laughs> Alright, match two. Don't want him getting triple white, but it doesn't look like it can prevent it too much. But maybe I can prevent him from getting to seven. So, um, yeah. He didn't survey the wreckage. That seemed really good. Didn't seem really bad, as usual. And. Mm, what do I not like? I don't like Vassal. No, that's fine. I don't like. No, you're fine. Well, the 2 5 was there, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. I think this is the way I want to play it. Firehorn? I didn't see any, so. Well, let's put one of these in, too. I don't want to take out. Probably Traitor's Instinct, but yeah, probably. I mean, if he draws that, I'm pretty boned. Not on the aggressive route. On the draw. Oh, two Lava Crews? Definitely keeping this. 
In a planes, got all my mana. And how can I lose with two auto crits? A little weird, even. So, what's the play? Lab crew or Frostborn would be good. It depends on what he does. Well, so be it. I guess I'll play another lava crew. Bam. Yep. Ooh, totally getting into that lane. Right. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Get ya. And then start playing some duders. Another one, huh? I got another one, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Alright. Get ya. Your turn. All right, hopefully I can draw my others or the wreckage just to get his other. And oh man, I need to not have six of her. Play this town and crasher. You can block, block. Yeah, I don't like uh, trading that. You can block, block, and that's fine. I just do it that way. Oh, you know what that means, right? Yeah, no, no. Put the team activation on. Two for one. That seems fine. Yep. I mean, we did agree on the split, so I can play a little loose, but. Three, four, five, six. Ooh, wow. That's pretty good. Take that wound. Wow. Uh. Oh man. Five, six, seven. Getcha. That sucks a lot, though. I think 
player is good. Swing, yep. Swing it in. That's really good. Okay. He just wants to straight up trade. Or just block. I'm not going to make that trade. Your turn. Four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty sick. Always has it. So I can draw my other Annihilation Fire, right? Keeps the Goblin, huh? Oh, getting back positive. All right, gotcha. No, we probably shouldn't have. So we can block there, but probably just blocks there. Uh, plane four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Ripping the jump. Okay. Oh man. So I have to just beat him before that happens, right? Uh, lizards, get in there. No, I don't like lizard. Chain house. First instinct. Survey the wreckage. Getting out. All right. So I want to do it. Slender growth for his two enchantments. Maybe. I mean, it doesn't do all that much. So I don't like it. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I guess it's a keep. I don't like this hand. They're all planes. Or it sucks. Mm, I didn't. Probably should have mold. Do you keep a one land hand on the draw? Figures go against my rule of keeping one land there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because we can agree to split. <laughs> Luckily, I have no play. Well, I can't. But, you know, looks like would have won, maybe, but got the QP and eight packs, but uh, really only a couple, because uh, we agreed to the split, and I think that's fair, considering I drafted Poros. So, till next time, have fun. So, we're going to draft. I didn't miss it. See our rarities. Oh, seriously? Yeah. We got it. And Underworld Connections, Havoc Festival.